What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you were new to the channel, I am Gold Pony and today we are in the new 2020 Cadillac Escalade courtesy of Apple Cadillac in York, PA. I am excited in this one. I'm always excited to get back into a Cadillac test driving them because as I have told you guys in the past, my grandfather did sell Cadillacs for around 30 years. So they're always kind of special to me. So what do you say? Let's just jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so to start, your standard Escalade will start at $76,490. Luxury trim level will start at $82,090. Premium luxury, which is actually the one we have today, this one is going to start at $86,490. And lastly, the Platinum starting at $93,590. And I did want to mention, that was all pricing for the rear-wheel drive setup. If you wanted to add four-wheel drive, simply add $3,000 to any of those prices. And if you wanted to make that the ESV, version meaning extended stretch vehicle like the one we have today a little more space there again add three thousand dollars additionally to any of those prices but so since i mentioned it i probably should elaborate a little bit as far as length goes the standard length of the escalade will come in at 203.9 inches ESV version will come in at 224.3 inches. So seeing them side by side, actually, there is a quite a substantial difference between the two there. It's kind of like Chevy Tahoe versus Chevy Suburban. So a good bit of extra space with the ESV that we have today. But regardless of trim level, the power plant on the new 2020 Escalade actually will be the same. Powering this beast will come from a 6.2 liter V8, putting out 420 horsepower at 5,600 RPM, 460 60 pound feet of torque available at 4100 rpm power again sent to rear wheels or all wheels through cadillac's four-wheel drive system and that power is sent to the ground through a 10-speed automatic giving you mpg numbers 14 in the city 23 on the highway for the rear wheel drive 14 city 21 highway for the four-wheel drive and by the way as you probably already expected the cadillac escalade does take premium unleaded fuel in case anybody had any doubts there but i did want to also mention when it comes to the escalade saving mpg numbers there is a cylinder deactivation system meaning when you're cruising or decelerating it's actually going to shut off four of the eight cylinders and that's going to save you some mpg numbers as well and then just rounding out the fuel information there is a capless fuel filler as well so you don't have any dangling gas cap scratching up the paint so that's a good thing as well but since we have now mentioned all the acceleration numbers i think you guys know what time it is as always let's do a quick little acceleration here see how quickly we can get the new 2020 cadillac escalade there's a fox cross crossing the road, that's pretty cool. Anyways, let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. V8, come on. <laughs> All right, it's not bad, but it is a bigger vehicle, so it's not the quickest acceleration as you maybe would want, but it is a V8, so it's gonna have plenty of get up and go for merging onto the highway or anything like that, but wouldn't have minded actually a little bit more power in the Escalade, maybe I'm being picky, I don't know, but it's not that bad of an acceleration. But so now that we are stopped at a stop sign, I did want to mention braking is equally important. And so as expected, you will find four-wheel disc brakes with Duralife brake rotors. And there is actually a performance braking system available for the Escalade. That's actually going to add $2,895. But if you were curious, what that is actually going to add is red Brembo six piston front brake calipers as well as larger front rotors sizing up at 16.1 inches. That's a beast of a rotor, you guys. I have read off quite a few rotor sizes in my day and that is definitely near the top. So what do you say? Let's hit the brakes here. Actually, not too bad. It is a bigger SUV, so it's not gonna stop quite as quickly as like a Corvette or a Camaro or something like that, but it's not too bad. Definitely brings this one to a nice stop in the Escalade. Touching on handling and suspension a little bit, this is where it does get good for the Escalade. Magnetic ride control is gonna come standard on all trim levels. And for comparison's sake, if you're kind of comparing the Escalade to the Tahoe or Suburban, since they are pretty darn similar, magnetic ride control is only available on the top trim levels of the Tahoe and Suburban, whereas, again, it is available on every single trim level of the Escalade. And this is important because essentially what that magnetic ride control is going to do is monitor each shock absorber individually not only giving you a smoother ride but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering as well really giving you the best of both worlds there so that is definitely a good thing on the escalade also a locking rear differential will come standard on every single trim level which is going to help keep the rear wheels moving in unison for a little added traction there as far as the steering feel goes it is 
pretty much as expected. It's not the weightiest steering wheel in the world, but it is as you would expect in a larger SUV there. Touching on ride quality a little bit, that is definitely one area where you're not gonna have any issues with the Escalade. Again, it does come with that magnetic ride control suspension. So it is soaking up Pennsylvania's road imperfections quite nicely there. Touching on cabin noise a little bit, I'm sure you guys can't hear too many exterior noises, if any. This Escalade does come with acoustic laminated glass, so therefore that is going to give you a quite quiet interior. And then touching on visibility, one of my favorite parts when it comes to all Cadillacs for the most part, really. Yes, this is a larger SUV, and yes, you are going to have some blind spots in the back two corners there. And those third row headrests are going to protrude up, blocking your visibility ever so slightly as well. But... That's not what I'm talking about, you guys. Visibility, honestly, isn't all that bad considering the size of the Escalade here. But if you were to hit that little button just below the rear view mirror, there is a rear mirror camera. And so that camera system is actually mounted on the exterior of the vehicle. This is good for a bunch of reasons. For one, if you're going on long road trips, which you inevitably probably will do in the Escalade, this is kind of a road trip vehicle going to the ocean or something like that. You're gonna have a lot of cargo possibly piled up to the ceiling in the Escalade. And so if you were to use a traditional rear view mirror, you're not gonna be able to see a single thing. Trust me, I have done that in a three row SUV, piled everything to the ceiling and you really can't use that rear view mirror. However, if you have a rear mirror camera like on the Escalade here, since that camera is mounted on the outside of the Escalade, I can see perfectly fine everything that is behind me right now. So yes, I love that Cadillac does this. They do it on a lot of their vehicles, if not all of them actually, but this way you can take that long road trip and I can actually keep it in that rear mirror camera mode like I am doing right now, just driving regularly. It's not just when you put the Escalade in reverse, therefore, I can always see what is behind me if I have cargo piled up to the ceiling. But so in addition to that, it gets one better because there is a head-up display I'm looking at right now. That head-up display is going to come standard on the luxury trim level and up, but that is going to help eliminate your speed, safety features, and speed limit of any given road onto the windshield so you can better help keep your eyes on the road. The only downside to the head-up display, and this is with all head-up displays, is if you are wearing polarized sunglasses, it's pretty darn hard to see. It's almost unseeable. I know there's a better word for that, but you can't really see it. If I were to take off my sunglasses, I can see that perfectly fine. But either way, it is pretty darn sweet to have a head-up display. Better help keep your eyes on the road so you don't go getting into any accidents or anything like that. And so, but anyways, that is about it for the driving dynamics, you guys. Let's now touch on the exterior in 4K of this brand new 2020 Cadillac Escalade. All right, so starting with the exterior on the 2020 Escalade, first thing you always notice is that large Cadillac front emblem there. Definitely looks good. Let's get it from the side shot there. Just behind that, actually, there are active aero shutters behind that front grille. Probably can't see it right now, but essentially what they will do is automatically open up when the engine cooling is needed, and then they shut for a little aerodynamic efficiency when the engine cooling is not needed. So kind of a smart little system there, but to the sides, LED headlights will come standard on every single trim level vertically stacked crystal lenses and it really does look like crystal lenses i don't know if it's coming off that way on camera but it looks absolutely amazing in person here i gotta say led daytime running lights also will come standard and of course automatic feature standard as well meaning when it starts to get dark out those headlights will turn on automatically for you there but now let's make our way to the side on the escalade zooming out a little bit looking up there are roof rails up top again standard for every single trim level Rear privacy glass, also standard for all trims. Chrome window surrounds, same thing. And there are actually black assist steps just below. If you're curious, Escalade does sit up a little higher than most three row SUVs. So those black assist sets actually do come in handy. It was a lot easier for me to get in there. And uh, one additional thing when it comes to those assist steps is there are power retractable assist steps if you want with the platinum trim level. So that is where they're gonna tuck up underneath the Escalade and then retract when you unlock the vehicle. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, I actually like them without them retracting. I think they look good on the side there, but anyways. Also a cool little trim accent. There's some Escalade etching into that side trim accent there. That definitely looks pretty good there. And then taking a look at those side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors for all trim levels. They will also come heated for those super cold days in Pennsylvania with 
integrated turret signals of course as you were looking at right now then just touching on the door handles real quick they are actually illuminated door handles if you want the premium luxury and the platinum trim level so since we do have the premium luxury you're not going to of course see it in daytime but that is going to be there for you at night but now let's zoom out a little bit and let's take a look at the wheel setup 20 inch alloy wheels will come standard with the base Escalade 22 inch alloy wheels with the luxury and the premium luxury. And then there's gonna be an additional 22 inch alloy wheel design specific to the platinum trim level as well if you went that route. But now let's go ahead and walk our way into the back. That is where the gas cap is gonna be by the way on the driver's side. But now that we are in the back, there is a rear spoiler with an integrated brake light that will come standard. Also, just below that, one of my favorite parts about the Escalade is the rear window wiper is tucked up nicely underneath that rear spoiler out of sight. A lot of them will be kind of plastered to that rear window, but in the Escalade, it is nicely tucked away. But anyways, vertical LED taillights will come standard as well. Kind of a really sweet looking design at night. And in case you were curious about the turn signal, that is where that is gonna show up. Now taking a look underneath, there is a full size 17 inch spare underneath for every single trim level just to the right of that your single exhaust outlet so you guys know what we have to do next even though we're in an suv as always here is that exhaust clip So but now since we are round back to actually open that rear lift gate, there is a button on the key fob. So you can simply use that if you wanted to. However, there is a hands-free power lift gate actually standard for every single trim level of the Escalade. And essentially the way that works is all you need to do is just kick your foot underneath the center of the rear bumper and that is gonna automatically open up for you. So if you have your hands full of groceries or kids or whatever, that is gonna open up for you. So you don't have to actually worry about taking your key out of your pocket or pressing the button or anything like that. So that's always a convenient feature. But, but once actually opened up, cargo capacity is gonna come in at 94.2 cubic feet with the standard Escalade. ESV is gonna give you 120.9 cubic feet max. That is the max cargo capacity. That is a good bet. That is enough for me to sleep or camp or live in the Cadillac Escalade. So a ton of space back there. Also in that cargo area, you're gonna find grocery hooks, some in-floor storage, quite a bit of that as well. That's always nice. Power folding third row is gonna come standard on all Escalade trim levels. And there is a power folding second row if you went with the luxury trim level and up. So very easy to adjust the seats on the Escalade as you would expect at this price range quite honestly. But then making our way to the rear legroom third row is going to commit 24.8 inches with the standard Escalade and that essentially is less than a Chevy Camaro or a Ford Mustang so not a whole lot of space when it comes to third row legroom in the standard Escalade. However if you went with the ESV that we have today you're going to get 34.5 inches which is doable. For example I'm an even six feet tall this is how much space I had in that third row row so actually not all that bad of course the six foot adult is going to be more comfortable in the second row but if you had to the third row is doable making our way to the second row legroom 39 inches even for the standard escalade 39.7 inches for the esv and the way this works for the second row is captain's chairs are going to come standard so the escalade will seat seven total as a standard setup however if you wanted that center bench seat, you can get it. It is an option actually. So you can have seating for up to eight if you wanted to go that route. So that's always nice that Cadillac offers that. But as far as the rear ventilation goes, all three rows will most definitely stay comfortable as there is rear ventilation located on the roof. Another thing I wanted to mention for those rear passengers, since we had the premium luxury trim level today, there are rear entertainment systems. Yes, plural. There is not only a rear entertainment system for the second row, but a rear entertainment system for the third third row as well. I love this. And actually it's the first time I've ever seen this, but if you have a lot of kids, those rear entertainment systems are pretty cool because cell phones are only so big. Rear entertainment systems are, you know, slightly bigger. So you got that for them if you wanted it there. You can watch movies in the back. Also wanted to mention for the second row passengers, heated second row seats will also come standard on every single trim level of the Escalade. Tri-zone climate control also standard so rear passengers can essentially set their own temperatures. Perhaps the only thing I'm missing here on my premium luxury, perhaps it's not uh, optional feature maybe for the Escalade is rear window sunshades. I will say the rear windows are pretty darn dark, but if you had a newborn, you wanted to put them in the second row, 
Again, there's no rear window sunshade, so I wouldn't have minded some of them in my Escalade I have here today. But now making your way to the front seats, 12-way power adjustable driver and passenger seats are gonna come standard for every single trim level with four-way lumbar support as well. Leather surfaces, again, standard for all trim levels. Driver and passenger seats are also gonna come heated and ventilated, also standard. Also, driver and passenger massaging seats will also come standard, so it's always nice after getting off a long day's work to have a little massage on your drive home, right? Anyways, taking a look up front, there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel for every single trim level. It will come heated and leather wrapped, so all in all, it is a comfortable steering wheel. There are some wood trim accents towards the bottom there. Wouldn't have minded a little bit thicker grips on the 10 and 2 portions of it, but still a nice steering wheel for the Escalade. Now, when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys as the key here you do of course have your Cadillac logo on the one side and when you flip it over lock unlock that button to pop the rear hatch and actually that circular button there on the left that is going to be your remote start watch is going to come standard on every single trim level of the Escalade that is definitely sweet as well but Anyways, it is actually all keyless entry with the push button start as expected. So I'm gonna go that route and all I'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. And so, but then once started up, tachometer is all the way on your left, speedometer is front and center and your fuel gauge is gonna be on the right. And actually the Escalade does come with a 12 inch digital display. I absolutely love the way it looks up there. To control what is on that digital display, there's actually steering wheel mounted controls on the right side side there actually took me a second to get used to this I was kind of thinking that maybe you could adjust the left side with the left steering wheel mounted controls and the right side with the right steering wheel mounted controls but it's actually the right side that is going to control everything so there's a little section in the middle of that right side where you can go left and right and then you can go up and down to control what you want to on the digital display so took me a half a second to get used to but it is quite easy to use up there so you have basically everything how many miles you have left until you hit empty outside temperature digital speedometer readout if you wanted it a ton of different things you could check out up there but so now making your way to overall interior quality a power sunroof will come with the luxury trim leveling up there is no panoramic sunroof available in case anybody was curious it's just the power sunroof that we do happen to have today so i do appreciate that wireless phone charger standard on every single trim level as well as a universal home remote that is essentially your garage door openers there's up to three different garage door openers located on the roof up top there overall though the Escalade definitely has a high-end finish a lot of soft touch materials basically everywhere you look it's going to be either leather finishes or there's wood trim accents or suede accents they are found everywhere that's going to be on the doors just above the glove box and it's always those suede and alcantara finishes that i appreciate the most because those are the finishes that you find on vehicles like lamborghini and porsche mclaren vehicles like that supercars really so i do appreciate that but in addition to those nice finishes touching on more of the finer details you do have a 12 volt power outlet two usb hookups just behind that two cup holders and again just behind that the center armrest for both the driver and passenger and that is where you're going to find your wireless phone charger but once you open that up you have two more usb ports another 12 volt power outlet and quite a bit of storage in the middle there as well and there's actually a hidden compartment because what you might think is the complete storage here is a removable tray and then there's a ton of space just below that so quite a bit of space there very impressed but so now let's make our way to to the tech display on the Escalade. Up front, you will find an eight inch colored touchscreen display with Bluetooth and audio streaming, as well as Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Meaning if you have a smartphone, simply hook it up to the Escalade and you do have free navigation through that smartphone, as well as the ability to stream Pandora. You can like and dislike your Pandora songs up there. So Android Auto is what I use on my own car. It's definitely something I use every single day. It's very nice. And actually, if you wanted factory navigation, that is going to come standard as well. So really you have two navigation systems as long as you have a smartphone so that's pretty cool but you can also actually check out your weather information up on that screen climate control options and of course your radio settings and since I mentioned it, touching on the speaker setups in the Escalade, you will find a 16 speaker Bose center point surround sound system for every single trim level of the Escalade. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and turn our cold seats off here so we can get a better experience of the radio here. Let's turn on the radio. So we've got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one. 
plenty of a sound system for the Escalade. You would expect a sound system like that in as large of a vehicle as this Escalade ESV is, but wow, amazing sound system. I've actually had both sound systems in my own cars before. They have never failed me, so definitely a solid sound system for the Escalade. But so the last thing on the tech display I wanted to mention is when you do put the Escalade in reverse, you will find a rear view camera for all trim levels. And again, that rear camera mirror, I don't think I mentioned it before, that is gonna come standard on the luxury trim level and up, but that as well is gonna give you another view of what's behind you. So you don't go running anything or anyone over, which is always is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags, also in the back rear child door locks, as well as latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Tire pressure monitoring system does also come standard, but some of the cooler safety features that will also come standard are automatic parking assist, which essentially is where the Escalade parks itself by steering, braking and accelerating. So it is a larger vehicle. So that is gonna kind of come in handy. I've experienced that kind of thing in other vehicles. It is absolutely amazing. You think you're gonna hit somebody, but you don't so that is pretty cool also standard on all trim levels front and rear park assist if you prefer to park yourself luxury trim level is going to add four collision alert lane change alert with side blind zone alert and lane keep assist with lane departure warning and lastly the premium luxury trim is also going to add automatic seat belt tightening but so anyways that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you like go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button if you enjoy new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel so do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see y'all in the next video stay gold